know, hockey is a game of time and space, and there's going to be inherent risks of contact. It's a fast-moving sport, and you know, we do see a fair number of concussions that occur at all levels. If you can just reduce the number of contacts a player absorbs, uh, I think that's a great starting point. We know from the epidemiology of injury of concussion that some of the most concerning mechanisms are the unanticipated hit. Hockey Intelligent uh, brings about great spatial awareness. If you're more aware of your surroundings, you're going to be able to move the puck faster and be able to absorb contact, but also to avoid contact. Mayo Clinic Sports Medicine has a concussion research program, and we approach concussion prevention on a multifactorial basis. And part of it involves cognitive training like intelligent. What we've really learned in the last few years is it might not actually be the concussions, it might just be the simply the number of head impacts taken over the course of your career that perhaps predispose us to these long-term later life problems. My family is uh, a big hockey family. We now have two boys that uh, both are players. Certainly safety is a very important aspect. We use two teams, a U16 and a U18 youth hockey team in our area. And we had them, we divided the groups, we tried to divide them into two groups. Um, one group did cognitive training, one group did not. Both my boys participated in the Intelligent. It became clear that they were, they were doing some things at the end of the season that they weren't necessarily doing at the start of the season. Uh, in terms of decision making, in terms of seeing the play. After 10 weeks of the computerized cognitive training using Intelligent, those players suffered about half as many head impacts as they did before the training. That should help them be a better player and uh, put them in a little safer uh, situation and not being caught in as a vulnerable position.